I have scored over 500 points and 200 goals for the Edmonton Oilers, but today I lie on the other side of the fence. We are on the Boston Bruins. Welcome back to our Be A Pro on the PS4. Let's go, man. We made the finals in the year 2032, and we are facing our old team. Very, very similar records. 50, 29, and 3 versus 50, 28, and 4. Basically the same thing. It's the same amount of wins, but just barely home ice advantage via one more overtime loss. I'll take it. You know what? I will absolutely take it. And here we go, man. It's about to be game one against my old team. But first, before we get to the gameplay portion of this, of course, we got to go see what the Oilers are talking about. What do y'all got in this here lineup? Do y'all have anybody of note? I know Mirnov is going to be pretty good. Mirnov, yes, sir. 89 overall. He's got 19 points in 18 games. He's a playoff performer. Who is this Audette gentleman? <laughs> He's an Oilers, or not an Oilers. He's a St. Louis Blues pick. Just like I was, that's funny. I guess it's kind of a it's kind of a tradition for the Oilers to just pick up St. Louis Blues draft picks and just turn them into first liners. All right, it's fine. Yesy Pugliarvi is still there at an 87 overall. That's pretty good. Philip Zadina, only 83. I guess he's 32 years old and declining a little bit, but I don't know, man. 30 or 83 seems like a little low for Zadina, but. It's all good. Speaking of former St. Louis Blues, here's another one. Ivan Barbashev, one of my favorite teams. <laughs> no goals. He's got no goals, but he got he got 10 assists in 18 games, Barbashev does. One of my favorite teammates when I was there. Oh, Sam Reinhardt is on the Oilers. That is funny. Uh, Yarvanen. S.A. Yarvanen, my boy, my favorite teammate when I, uh, well, excluding any forward. My favorite defending teammate from the Oilers. Very, very productive career for him. You see, he's in the 30 slash 40 point range, and he's not even that type of a guy. He's a two way defenseman. He's not an offensive guy, so that's pretty darn good. 79, man. And, whoa, is that the let from the. Yeah, the 2021 draft. Apparently, this guy is kind of a bust. Only 80. I, I thought he was like a elite. I thought he had elite potential. Oh, well, maybe I was wrong, but maybe he just didn't reach it. Rochette might be a decent third-line center for him. Pavel Zaka turned into a sort of a productive NHL player a little bit. Soderstrom, I believe he was a, a Bruin. Was he not a Bruin not too long ago? Oh, no, it, it must have been somebody else, or maybe a no, a, another Soderstrom. Maybe it was Sundstrom? I swear we have one of those one of those guys on the Bruins, and I'm not talking about Nordstrom, who's lit. I'm talking about we had somebody else, but it doesn't matter. They are pretty inconsequential. Kov <laughs> There's another Kovalchuk. There's a new one. It's a two-way forward. Ah, uh, nah. If it was a sniper, that could have been a story, but it's not. All right. And goalies, what do they have back there? They have an 84 overall, who's got ooh a 907, so he needs to work on that. Other than that. Yeah, okay, so he's the starter. You know what? He could definitely take over this game. He definitely could because we've seen 81 overall goalies take over series. So let's not take him for granted, all right? Let's go. Game one. I don't I don't know who's got the advantage in this series. I guess we're about to find out. But first period of play, and it is one-to-one. -one. Let's see here. I am interested to see these ratings. 93-90 in offense. 84-81. Okay, so, so same goaltending, slightly inferior on defense, slightly superior on offense. There's this pretty even series, so it's going to be who wins. Is it me with the offense, or is it Miknov with the defense? It's weird to refer to the Oilers as a defensive team, but here we are. Connor McDavid on an expiring contract with the Chicago Blackhawks. He didn't make it. I don't even think he made the playoffs. I looked at the playoff tree a little bit earlier, and I don't think he was there. Oh, hold on. Can I just can I just snipe it? No, that's a nice save by Clark. All right. But yeah, McDavid, his contract with the Hawks is expiring, and Frey's just signed a brand new contract. I think it was with the Carolina Hurricanes. Neither of them boys made it anywhere near the conference finals, so you know what? We are out here. The Oilers and the Bruins are the man. Nope. 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 The middle is not open. The middle will not be open. There you go. Give me that. We're going to go up. We're going to just shield the puck away. And boom. Make a good breakout pass. See, we're trying to be careful. We're trying to play the proper way. We don't want to sell out completely offensively, even though that's the identity of our team to play offense. We're chill. Okay. Good 200-foot game. Let's not be passive. We need to be careful. Those are two very different things. We need to... Seize our opportunities when, when they're there, 
but we just need to calculate the risk of those opportunities as we ooh, win the face off. That was an interesting one. I don't even know if it got credited as a win, honestly, but you know what? We ended up with the puck, so I count it as a win. We're going to go to the net on this one. Go go back at the point, bro. Okay. It's not going to go back at the point, but it's okay. We have the puck. He tried to pass it to me on the back door, but it's all good. Oh, we're getting back on the ice, and it's a power play. Let's freaking go. Of course, they are turning pucks over on the power. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're going to go around the boards because we're about to give it away, and he's open. And that was a terrible play by him, trying to force a pass. And, of course, it's picked off by the Oilers, but it's all good. We're going to be back behind our own net, see if we can set up a breakout. Oh, he's going to take the puck himself. All right. I like that. Here comes Niemi. He's going to drop it at the point. Speaking of the point, I am wide open at it right now, and we are not giving me the puck. The Oilers, solid penalty killing. Left side, the Oilers. No, sir. No, sir, I'm here. Nice pick. Oh, please get through. Ah, oh, I tried. I tried to get through, but they never sent the pass. That's all good. That's all good. We're going to give our teammates some room to make stuff happen here. Unlike the AI, which usually just skates into you if you... If you're slightly out of position, I'm actually going to get out of their way and be nice. You feel me? We're, we're going to help our team get some chances by it. Oh my god, I love the way we're playing defense right now. It's just working. But well, here's another power play chance. You cannot give that many of them. Oh, one-timer for Niemi and another huge save by Clark. Okay, okay. That 84 might be a problem. It might be a problem. He's stopped a few really good chances already. We're just going to wait out here. Because we got the puck. We trust our teammates. Oh, my goodness. Look at this man. Look at this man. A one-timer wider than that. Niami, back. Oh, into the corner. Bro, I'm so open. Thank you. Shoot that. I wanted the one-timer, obviously. Not a freaking wrist shot. Another one and another save by Clark. This man is unbelievable. Oh, we're going to have a sim goal. Is it the second unit? Yes! Eventually, the pressure gets to the Oilers goalie, and we score goal number two. And the second period ends. And look at this. We are out shooting them quite badly, but their goalie is out here. Only two goals on 25 or 26 shots. Not sure what that said, but it's all good. It's irrelevant because right now, all we're trying to do is get these here Ws. Give me this. Give me this. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. All right. All the way to the right side. Nordstrom. He's got it. I'm going to be the drop option. Big hit. I might beat him with speed. I might beat him with speed. I can, but I can't get it by their goalie. Clark is a monster. Okay, we had a few power plays, so you knew this would happen. We're back on the ice, and we are killing one. Nothing. Oh, I tried to block that, and I couldn't. Nice glove save. Thank you, Hutchings. We needed that. Killing a penalty again. All right, that's all good. The refs are just trying to even up the penalty calls. I, I understand. I was going to say I appreciate it, but I really don't. I hate when referees decide to even things up if if one team's taking more penalties than the other just call more penalties on that team like it's your your role is to enforce the game not to make up some calls to make sure it's even you feel me but anyway regardless we take a penalty i'm not complaining i'm just saying i wish referees would stop doing that but it's all good because now we got a kill and our penalty kill unit it's been pretty darn good, man. Our first unit is out here. We are taking passing lanes. We are very good at holding the box, and nothing is getting through the middle. All right, we have a sim goal, and it is for the Edmonton Oilers. It is 2-2 two to two with 6.25 left in the game, but we have a power play. Is this the time where I get my first goal of the series? I don't know. There's a tie-up on the face-off. I am on the Ovechkin dot, and I am wide open, ladies and gentlemen, slapping it. Of course, he was blocking that shooting lane, but you know what? If you shoot it hard enough, they won't be there next time to block it. That's how you got to look at it. Boom. Let's kick that to our teammate. Let's re-rotate over. They're covering me. That's fine. That's fine. We have a man advantage, and there you go. We slide right into the slot area. It's stopped twice by Clark, but that was a huge chance. And if we win by tie-up once again, Nikita... I can slide that over to Niemi, and you never know. Nikita wins it to me. Niemi, another save by Clark. You can't blame Nikita for this one. He is winning all the face-offs that we could possibly want at this point. Yeah, if he loses one, that's fine. That's okay. Oh, it's all good because we got it back. I tried to sneak it through the goalie. Oh, see, I had the, I have the room for the Michigan, but <laughs> we can't do it in NHL 20. Not that it's possible to do it in 21, but I'm just saying it would be lit. But it's all good. We have a chance on the power play, and it's cleared all the way down the ice. And here we go. Big hit. Let's go. Let's go. That's a three on O, boys. That's no. What are you doing? Who does that on a three on O? Oh man, Nikita, what the fuck, dude? Don't do that. Oh, I was trying to pass it back to Niemi, but fucking Nikita intercepts it, skating backwards, and then just tries to... <laughs> oh, man. All right. Fight for everything. Let's go. We got it back at the point. Good puck movement. We are dominating the Oilers' first line. This Our line is out here, and we are 
just getting everything that we want, and they just cannot compete. But at at some point, we're gonna have to get past their goalie, though. That's the that's the one thing. But he is huge. He is awesome. And the shots, 38 to 26 after three periods of play for the Bruins. All right, let's go. Next goal wins. Next goal takes care of game one. We need to get it because we're trying to keep that home ice advantage. If we lose, then we don't have that shit no more. So let's be out here. Let's come out here and be just as dominant. I don't think the first line needs to change anything. We've been playing really well. We've just been stopped by a goalie. That one just barely wide of the net. Mistakes happen. It's all good. We're not going to harp on that one too much. Poke that away. Yes, sir. From the middle of the ice. And let's go. On the counterattack, I get hit. They came at me, all three of them. All right. All right. I thought I had more room than I did, but no. That's another interception. They keep trying to go through the middle. I keep telling them there's nothing through the middle on this line, but they just don't listen. Off the boards, well, I tried to, but it's all good. Got magnetized to him, Niemi. All the way to Nordstrom. Back to Niemi. Back to me. Shoot that. <gasps> I can't believe it. Just a big no by Rammer. It's all good. Let's back check. And do not have a muffin going. Oh, God. That's a reviewed overtime goal for freaking... Wait a minute. They gave him the goal, so it must be goalie interference. It must be. Yeah. Oh my god, we have controversy here. My. G There's no way. That's not goalie interference. That's no. Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna. We're gonna check from this angle. They love to use this angle on TV. So let's see. Hutchings makes the save. It's loose. He bumps the mask barely. Like barely bumps him, but. I feel like I feel like our our own defenseman did more damage to our goalie than he did. I don't know, man. That was that was probably going in before the ah. He kind of nailed him on the helmet. I don't know, man. It's gonna be a no goal call, and that's goalie interference. So that is not reviewable unless there is a challenge, and challenges are not in the game. So that's automatically not a goal. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't go behind the net or in front of it. Oh my God! Thank God I didn't go behind the net immediately, because that would have been a huge shot from the slot area i might need to change here in a second yeah we're gonna change let's just hook back oh no sir blocking shots in overtime that's what i do yes yeah, sir now down the ice again gonna sweep it away oh shoot that big save oh on the turnover by the oilers power play unit get there get there oh that's a huge pick it's a huge pick by 11 thank you so much i need to change badly Oh, we have a sim goal, and the penalties were too much. The Oilers win game one on a overtime power play marker. Damn, son. What a game. What a good first game. Their goalie stole it. Clark stole it. I said it, man. If we saw 81 steal a series, and 84 can do just the same. And their goaltender, he's the one who stole the game for him. I can, yep, first star of the game for a good reason. Look at that shit. 47 shots directed towards him only two goals and the simulation is exactly the same for game two we start the second period in an even one to one game all right let's go i need to get a goal here I, this is the moment where i need to get one i need to make an impact because we cannot play games three and four unless four is an elimination game which i hope it's not because then we're really gonna have to make a comeback effort but the point is i can't play road games because of the home ice advantage thing that we all agreed upon so let's be out here. This is a must-win game for the Bruins because we don't want to go to Edmonton, one of the best home ice advantages in the league when they're in the playoffs. And down by two. That's just not going to be... That's just not going to go well. Jeremy Roy, he's going to drop it to me. I'm just barely going to get it, but barely counts. Boom, back to Roy. Oh, nice play. Nice play. Shoot that. Oh, we can't do it, pinch. Yes, sir, I'm going to cover the pinch. That's good. We want to be nice and responsible. Maybe we'll take a few more chances here in game two because clearly, clearly we're going to need to get some higher quality chances towards go i can't even say that man we had one timers and shit oh that's a breakaway that doesn't get higher percentage than that and ho sang is stopped by clark he actually put a decent move on him too, go into the forehand let's go oh up 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 oh yes sir we made it we made it shoot that oh my goodness i thought i was gonna sneak it right under his glove I couldn't think of a better place to do it than on the power play. And one of my teammates drew a penalty, and here we are. We're going to pick that off. Boom, back at the point. Yes, sir. Man, I was trying to get open on the one-timer dot. I could not quite do it. That's a horrible pass. I should have taken a little bit more care of where I was throwing that. Zaka's going to throw some absolute mess down the middle of the ice, and I'm going to pick it off. 
Thank goodness. If you're going to turn the puck over, at least be the one to get it back for your team. Going to hit this guy. Yes, sir. Body checking. Cannot be avoided. It can be avoided in the Stanley Cup Finals, man. We are L here. Boom. Give me this. He's skating forward. Bad idea. Here we go. Breakaway, boys. Breakaway. And I can't sneak at five hole. Shit. Well, it was like a second. One timer, though. Still going to drive pucks towards the net. You know what? Give him a little bit of a slash. Yes, sir. Let's put the temperature up here. Uh-huh. You guys are pissed? Yeah, be mad. Other than Yarvin, and nobody's really that physical on that Oilers team. Give me that. Give me that with that bullshit. Trying to try deke one of my teammates. That ain't going to happen, son. I'm going to be back here. I'm going to make stuff. Going to make sure it doesn't work. And I'm going to go back because I was... I came back too often. Oh, there's a pass. And that shot goes just wide. No way. Big hit. Let's go. That's what I do. No, sir. Oh, that's a good passing play, and they score. Goodness gracious. 2-1. And now on top of that, we are killing a 5-on-3. Good lord. What are we doing? Oh, that gets right through me and Hutchings. It's 3-1 Edmonton. No fucking way. From the Oilers centerman. I'm going to block another shot. Let's go. Let's see if that happened on the last play. It wouldn't have gone in. Hutchings had no idea where the puck was on that one. Luckily for us, though, we block the freaking puck. Holy moly, that was terrifying. Uh, do not, do not pass go. Do not collect 200. Get it up the ice, though. Thank you. I appreciate it. Boom. Right side. Big save. We're going to need two just to tie. We're going to need three to win. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. I got absolutely crushed right there. They got one of the hits back. It's all good. It's all good because I got it right back immediately. That's what I do. Get up and grind again. Down low. Down low, please. Oh, my God. Anything but a weak shot. Anything but a weak shot. I got it. I got it. Yeet all the way back at the point because he's open. He's going to give me the puck back. Oh, that's a good stick lift, but it's all good. I still have it. Shoot that big save. Rebound. Mm, never mind. I failed, but it's all good. That's a huge pick. I have zero stamina at all. We're going to drop that to Nordstrom. He gives it back to me. That one-timer is just barely stopped by the goalie. I can't believe it. Down low. Are we going to get another one-timer chance? You might have been looking for it, but I'm going to go to the net. Nothing happens. End of the second period. We're down 3-1. Back at the point. Yes, sir. Go to the net. Oh, I tipped it, and it still didn't go in. This goalie, Clark, man, he just might be the answer. <laughs> he might be the answer to the how do you stop the Bruins. Oh, that's an unfortunate bounce, and it's 4-1 Edmonton. It was one of those goals brought to you by EA Sports, man. Right at the chest, he stops it, and then he gets a weird animation that causes him to literally throw it out to the oiler. He almost got there, too, but he just couldn't quite do it. And all right. All right, it's a 4-1 score. How much time do we got? We got 19 minutes, man. 19 minutes. The, the, the Bruins have come back from 4-1 deficits, famously, in like 13 minutes. So we can do this. Let's go. Back at the point. Let's do it. Let's get one goal. Oh, man, that's just wide. Just wide. He is also getting a little bit lucky on a few chances. We got to... Oh, we got to be better, though. Let's go. Left side. I'm not passing this. I'm not passing this because I got a laser beam, and I can't believe he stopped that one, too. I mean, that was a dart, and we have another sim goal 5-1 for the Oilers. Okay. All right. Now, now it's getting getting to the point where we might not win this game <laughs> it's getting to the point where it's gonna be tough but you know what we can still send a message we can still refuse to quit that is what champions do man you don't just quit at the face of adversity matter of fact if we get one or two goals back it's gonna do wonders for game three and that's what we need to do here comes Nordstrom he's gonna give it to me oh right to the middle and he can't get the stick on it this is get. oh we have multiple goals the Oilers might be running away with this one nope 6-2 all right well we answer how long did we just sit on the bench coach Excuse you. Oh, we're going to have some issues in the locker room after this one if that's the way that we want to play this. I feel like I got I got sat for way too long on that one. Oh, but the Oilers. Oh, my goodness. They get another one. We're fighting. We're fighting. We're fi Does anybody want to fight me? I will take a game misconduct right here, right now to get somebody to fight me. We don't have a lot of time to do it either. I just... Let's go. Let's go. Big hit. We dumped them. We absolutely dumped them. Game two is an absolute disaster for the Oilers not for the Oilers for the Bruins eight to two loss I mean my goodness I feel like the the main the main thing that happened here is we took too many penalties that's just you can't get around that too many penalties and we couldn't kill them all right well it is what it is. We got outshot quite badly, didn't we? 37-29. Yep, that's pretty bad in my opinion. Now we have to simulate this game right here. Game three. Please, please don't let it be a freaking 3-0 series deficit. one nothing for the Oilers after game three. Still one nothing after 
two periods. All right. Oh, two nothing right off the bat. We're gonna sim the third. Seven nothing. Are you fucked? You mean to tell? Okay. Now game four becomes not even about winning this series anymore. Even though we're not technically out of this, it becomes about just showing the fuck up. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Seven nothing. Seven nothing. You're not gonna get a fucking goal in a game where you have to win to stay. All right. All right, I can only play the third for this one. It's an elimination, so I can play it. But I can only play the third. Of course, my guy's the only one that gets a fucking goal around here. All right, let's go. I mean, how embarrassing is that? Seven... You get beat eight to two on your home ice. That's not bad enough. You repeat it with a, a seven-nothing performance. That sucks, man. That is absolutely... Oh, I am annoyed. Beyond annoyed. Especially when this is my former team. Now, you would think the boys would kind of want to play hard. Considering I was the fucking captain a season ago, but apparently not. Nikita's probably very annoyed as well. And quick reminder, Nikita is in a contract year, so he's probably not enjoying this at all. Back at the point. I'm gonna get this puck back. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna do everything I can to get pucks towards the net on this one. And I might just crush somebody here. Because like I said, it's about staying alive here in game four. It's about showing a little bit of freaking pride because we have been absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight him for sure. Uh, apparently not. It wouldn't let me fight him. That's fine. Back at a point. Slap shot. He can't see it. He's blocked, though. One-timer. My goodness. Huge wind-up from right in front of the goal. It's only a one-goal lead, though. we got to be careful not to do anything stupid. we got to be sure of everything that we do. Uh, for example, let's not give them a wide-open shot in the slot. You absolute idiots back there. What are y'all doing? Give it to the left side. I swear to God, I will friggin' blast it so hard. You have no idea. Oh, we're going to trip him in the offensive zone? Are you kidding me? Nikita, come on, bro. You're the captain of this team. Tripping motherfuckers behind their net on a freaking power play. Are you kidding me? In an elimination game, no less. Like, come on. Now I have to skate this. I have to skate for this. Oh, I really wanted to body check him, but let's not. Let's not take a penalty here. Because we can't afford that shit. We just can't do it. Okay, big hit. Go. Go. Out of the zone. Oh, they're changing? Oh, they got one guy super back. Okay. I thought everybody was changing on the Oilers, and I was like, bro, I am picking this puck and scoring. You have no idea. Get that up and get a change because we have no more stamina. We've been killing penalties so much. So much. As a star player, still out here killing penalties because that's what I do. All right? 200-foot game. Let's go. Seven minutes left in game four. Up to the right side. I'm going to have a shooting lane here if Nordstrom doesn't turn it over. Oh, he toe drags. Yes, sir. What a play by Nordstrom. I hit the post. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I hit the fucking post. How how unlucky can you get in one series? Shoot that. You have such a lane. Thank you. Oh, we're getting back on the ice with a power play. Late in game four. He turns it over. I can't believe it. He actually turned it over behind our own net again. Oh, the AI in this game has got to... Okay. Please, just, if you're going to fix anything about the AI in 21, fix that. Fix that shit. Okay, back at the point, please. Are we going to move the puck on the power play? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. All right, boom, at the point. Okay, sure. At least at least it's a puck towards the net, but, like, Jesus. We're going to go try to make sure we tripped another guy in the offensive zone right now. If that's Nikita again, I swear to you, if that's Nikita... You are the captain of this team! Like, Jesus Christ. Let's go. Get hit. Let's freaking go. That's gonna be a penalty again. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a what a bad... What a bad series the Bruins have played. And they're gonna score on the power play. Yep. Yep. And we're still killing, too, because guess what? We keep taking penalties. Wow. That is unbelievable. I don't freaking know. One-timer scores. Not even my man. <sighs> we are actually going to get swept in the Stanley Cup Finals by the Oilers. Are you actually serious? That... That Stanley Cup Finals performance was absolutely unacceptable. I am so beyond disappointed. It's unbelievable. We played a good game one. And then... And then we just took penalties forever for the next three games. 
I mean, we just happened to lose game one in overtime. It was a good game, whatever. They got one goal extra, and they ended up winning. And this team did not know how to fight. It didn't know how to fight through that. For a team that was down 3-1 in the conference finals and came back to win, I, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. And you shake hands with somebody that's just beaten you. And the Oilers also came back from a 3-1 deficit. And they played seven games. So we have no excuse saying, oh, you know, we got, we were tired because of a hard-fought seven games series. No, no, so were the Oilers. So were the Oilers. This just, we fucking, we stopped. We stopped playing after game one. And it's unbelievably disappointing. I'm pissed. I'm pissed, and you know what? The Oilers deserve it. If you're going to sweep a 50-win team in the in the finals after you came back from down 3-1, you know what, man? Good for you. Good for y'all. They deserve it. They deserve that shit. They have an uh, insane goaltender. Just absolutely unbelievable. Mignov has just been a really good leader for them. That sucks watching this, man. That sucks because we had such a good chance at winning two Stanley Cups in Edmonton, maybe even three. And we got it taken away via injury. And it just sucks. And probably the most deserving guy right here is the goaltender. Clark has been unbelievable throughout this series. All four games. I know it's a short series, four games, but he was an absolute beast. You know what? I wouldn't even be surprised if Edmonton was down 3-1 because Clark was injured. He was that freaking good. I, and that's that's going to be the end of our year. Damn. That sucks, man. That sucks. And I didn't I didn't score a goal in gameplay in these finals, but I had so many chances. I was just stopped by the goalie that last when I hit the post. I mean, fuck, we outshot them 39 to 31, and we got one freaking goal. That sucks, man, but whatever. It's hockey.